welcome to another edition of Exotic Gardening UK and in this episode we're looking at the hardiest feather palm it can grow in the UK and that is Jubea chilensis. This huge growing palm is hardy down to at least minus 10 and even a little bit more when it's a nice big palm like this specimen behind me and this big palm behind me. I have done a video previously of how I planted this palm so I'll put that in the link below in the comments and you'll see how I actually planted this huge palm and also I'll do a link to how I planted the medium sized palm in the front garden. And this is the hardiest feather palm that you can grow in the UK. They're not the fastest things in the world so they are pretty slow growing so this one behind me is well over 20 years old now so it's probably about 25 years old i bought it when it's a good sized plant and it's steadily grown for the last six seven years pushing out four or five six leaves a year so it is slow but steady and a smaller version of this palm is like this so this one is about three years three and a half years old and as you can see, it has just sort of juvenile leaves. And I could plant this out, or I can pot it on and wait till it's got a bit of a bigger trunk, and then it will survive cold winters easily. At this size, so this is only about four or five centimeters diameter trunk. A mild winter, it would be definitely fine. A harsh winter, it might really damage it and possibly kill it. Because basically, the bigger the palm, the hardier it is. But this is a great size palm to buy. If you're going to buy a Jubea, buying them this side, size are very affordable. Buying them, like the huge one behind me, becomes really, really expensive. And now it's much more difficult to get big palms imported into UK. It means you're very unlikely to find a big specimen like this ready to buy. The trunk on this one is about 80 centimetres, almost a metre in diameter with the leaf bases down there and it's the widest growing palm tree pretty much in the world that you can grow and it takes a long time to get this big as I've mentioned but it will take, once it's got to its final diameter of about a metre and it's pushing out many leaves in a year all of a sudden then it will start growing up but that'll take about 35, 40 years normally in the UK before it starts growing upwards. It grows out for a long time and then it'll eventually start growing up. You can obviously buy this palm in between these two sizes I've shown. You can get them sort of, you know, in 10 litres and 15 litre palms and also in like uh, dustbin size uh, containers because the roots do go very deep if you let them go deep in a container and obviously in the ground they do spread out a long way they're not invasive roots but they do search for water by going really really deep down and across and this palm has really thick green leaves almost like plastic they're really thick really resistant to the to the wind and it wants to be in full sun it needs really good sunny conditions to grow at its best you grow it in shade then it might grow longer leaves basically it's searching out for more light but it won't grow as well as in full sun where it'll grow its maximum speed and the spread of this palm it's in a bed here that's about 2.4 meters across and the leaves are going well over that so it's probably about three meter width if I let it grow the leaves to the full potential. I have been clipping the ends of the leaves which looks a bit unsightly on the lower leaves but it's so I can keep it in this bed. So it's a very wide palm so if you are planting it as a small plant like this one here then you've got to think about how big it's going to get. Yes it is slow growing but eventually something like this we'll get to something like this and if you plant that in a little bed next to lots of other palm trees or more permanent plants and this will eventually swamp whatever else you grow next to it because it does get huge conditions it wants like i said it wants full sun 
but it also wants good drainage. It likes to be dry in winter and wet in summer really. It comes from Chile again so it's, uh, it gets pretty dry winters but it does get decent rainfall in summers so you can't really overwater this in summer but to be honest when it's this big I, I don't water it. This, this survives in the ground it's in. It's in a raised bed so it's got 30 centimetres of excellent topsoil before it goes into clay underneath so the roots will be well into the clay now searching out water so it'll always get a source of water this palm tree and once it's established so it takes two or three years really before it shows any decent growth it will push out many leaves in a year and the bigger the plant the more leaves it pushes out a year so back to the small one in a pot down here this has got just juvenile leaves at the moment this is doing about one and a half to two and a half leaves a year whereas this one it like it says just between five and eight leaves a year it pushes out about four at a time it might get two big flushes in a year grows really well from about june all the way through to the end of october and then it goes dormant over winter and protection wise the bigger they are the harder they are but the leaves can still get damaged by those cold northerly winds so unfortunately you might get a bit of browning if it's a very exposed position this one's in pretty exposed position there's no sort of surrounding plants or protection from taller trees behind it so it does get the brunt of the winds but luckily this is completely open south facing where this is so it just gets a southern and westerly winds which aren't too bad the northerly winds there is some protection behind from the fence and trees behind so planting this like I said it wants well draining soil but lots of good nutrition in there as well so it likes a bit of manure it likes a bit of good quality compost in there as well just to give it a bit of a boost and once it's established after two or three years you will start seeing steady growth of you know five six leaves a year the hotter the summer the more leaves you get the longer the growing season the more leaves you get feeding wise all i do with this big palm is is I sprinkle slow release fertilizer around the base of the palm and I also give it a bit of either chicken manure or blood fish and brown in spring as well to give it a boost. When I remember I do spray this with some seaweed extract a few times throughout the season but to be honest it's well established now it doesn't need that. The smaller potted ones I mix in some slow release fertilizer and give this a spray of seaweed fertilizer as well. I mean, the seaweed fertilizer is more of a sort of a bit of a boost. It doesn't really give them that many nutrients. It gives them sort of plant hormones to make it sort of grow and think about growing. And then the fertilizer that I put around it, the slow release stuff, these are just miracle grow little pellets in here. And they will feed it when it's warm enough throughout the season for about six months or so. And sprinkle them on a, every spring when you get to bigger pots obviously you can give it more feed as well you can use palm focus that's another good feed that you can water in as well so that is Jabea chilensis also known as the Chilean wine palm I call it Chilean wine palm because they do make some sort of wine out of the the sap of these of these palms by knocking into the trunk getting the sap that comes out and then make a fermented alcoholic drink out of that. Eventually this will flower and it'll have huge inflorescence of flowers but we're talking I guess another 30, 40, 50 years before this gets big enough to flower. It is a long-lived palm tree, it will outlive most of us. So it's one for the future as long as you've got hard enough, hard enough mild enough location should I say then this will this will thrive so Chilean wine palm Jabea chilensis a must-have feather palm for the garden got to be patient with it but it's well worth it and it looks after itself so it's definitely one I'd recommend for most of the UK